Hello there, I'm Black Bright and I am broadcasting out the UK, but I'm going to be talking about Jamaica today. And um, yes, you know, it's a bit awkward because um, you've got one aspect where they're saying that they're not listening to regulations and they all have a party when it's supposed to be locked down. It's not even funny, but, you know, on the one hand, you, you can argue that they're trying to get this herd immunity thing out of the way, you know. Because they're saying if you're all locked up, you, you you won't know whether or not you've got the coronavirus or whether or not you're immune to it. So it's best that everybody gets it and then you build up an immune, immune immunity to it. So what's happened now is that in Jamaica, in Kingston, apparently one big party are gone. So I'm going to show you that one and then I'm going to show you um, what this Jamaican guy is saying um, about it. Okay. Is it worth it though? You're going to get arrested for a few minutes of a party. Anyway, this is what this guy says. Mr. Speaker, the harsh reality is that there are too many Jamaicans who have not yet recognized that we are at war. And Mr. Speaker, this is no ordinary war because in this war, Mr. Speaker, we cannot see the enemy. Mr. Speaker, you cannot tell who has the coronavirus by looking and the people of Jamaica are not taking it seriously. It is the worst kind of warfare that we have seen. This is our World War III because you can't identify the enemy as being over there. So you're not seeing the bombs dropping. You're not seeing the tankers rolling in. You're not seeing the army of the enemy coming against you. The enemy, Mr. Speaker, is a virus or a bacteria that we cannot see. It depends on the table, it's on the grey, it's on any single surface, it depends on the street that you're walking in and you cannot see it. And to the young people of Jamaica who think that they are so fit and healthy, Mr. Speaker, mash down that lie. The coronavirus does not respect age, it does not respect political party, it does not respect sex, it does not respect wealth, it does not respect anything at all. And so as Jamaicans, as human beings, we must be united, Mr. Speaker. We must recognize that our best defense in this war against Corona is that our Prime Minister, our Health Minister, our entire government has called upon every single Jamaican to join the national effort in this war against Corona and to be good soldiers and to be the very best soldier, to be the war hero that your country needs right now, requires you to stay home. That is how you're going to be the best soldier. To be honest, you know, there's something about his accent. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but, you know, he doesn't just sound, he didn't really sound like an authentic Jamaican to me. But the thing is, the point is, is that, yeah, it is important for people to take this seriously. And yeah, you might want to have your little bit of freedom, but to have a dance, man, it's a bit of a kick in the teeth. And then now you're going to end up in jail overnight or you're going to have a fine over it. I mean, like we said, we do not know the cause or what it is. We do not know. I mean, a lot of people, with they're saying that it only affects 
older people or it affects those with underlying causes. And maybe that's why they feel as though, you know, they're immune to it. But they don't know who they're going to infect by having it. And they don't even know what it is. Nobody knows what this virus is. Nobody knows whether it's engineered or manufactured or whether what it is. And so you can't afford really to take the risk and spread it around. So, um, yeah, so it is quite irritating to actually have a party. I mean, even if a couple of guys got together and, you know, they have a little drink or something. You know what I mean? But a party, a full-scale party. I don't know, man. What can I say? That's all for now. Bye-bye.